Hey guys and welcome back to episode 3 of Come Me Can't Communicate where oh boy last week's episode definitely got a little spicy with the boys imaginations going wild on top of a near love confession between Komi and Tadno. So definitely can't wait to see what this week will be all about so if you guys don't watch more anime make sure to check out the link above our single age video and 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> Feeling. It was a very weird way. Some vacation and sports festival? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Tana knows everyone so well. I guess because Tando has been through it himself. <laughs> you mortal. Damn, Tadna. I love how no words were spoken during that interaction. <laughs> Good job, commoner. Hmm. Kami also wants to join in. That one's quite obvious. If you're going to chat, then give me back the dictionary, right? No, no, no. They're talking so it's hard to get close to them, right? Yeah, but not quite correct. Oh, okay then. I want to see too. Yeah, this one's easy. Take a photo room where all the sister like your man did not tell him. No, no. <laughs> Don't upload that useless sky photo to social media. You more no, no. Oh dear. And the war's begun again. Hmm, <laughs> that one was quite clear. Ooh. Yeah, I think 
about the next step? This one's- oh, I actually don't know about this one. I would say like thinking about the next step and what to do. She's still thinking about the rainbow earlier. Oh, Kobe. Nope. Nope. Not even close. Not even once. We're trying to learn to read you. I could tell you've been watching me for a while. Why do they think Kami would get mad? I think she just wanted to join in. Yeah! Please don't fight it, go me. Well, not well, that clip now, and that's how we got kicked out of the coffee shop. <laughs> Another session of Wild. That it, this is a serious matter. Reviewed and modified my story. Let's hear it. <gasps> you made up a Komi episode? I like the JoJo music. Homemade the door. <gasps> and she go nom nom. <gasps> she goes nom nom nom. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. She does, she really does. Oh, this one, they're already living together. What's the matter? <gasps> Could have been that bad, right? No. This is so fluffy. I want her to be my mom. Oh, <laughs> Kumi <gasps> turn. Deo! Oh my god. <laughs> Fair enough, but that was cool. And that was probably the most lines we... 
ever got him from Kami. Mm. This is bad. Mm hmm, mm hmm. First place. No. Oh no! She's got the tummy growls. Master of communication, Kobe! I believe in you. Look at me, Master! Maybe get rid of the ferocious ore, but he doesn't mean, he doesn't mean well. Breathing technique. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. <gasps> Lunch. It's okay. Yes, yes, turn over to the save. No, 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 no. Just say lunch, lunch. Get your, get your butt over here, what? <laughs> How did you come to the conclusion of Oh, Makoto. Where did you get the sentence of get your butter over here? No. Oh, thanks for coming. She was worried about that now. Listen. Yes. That's it. Eh? Yeah, yeah, maybe that one was a little. <laughs> Max jealousy. Oh, she's having complicated feelings. I can totally understand. Showing me what to do all this time? What is she showing you? Oh my god. Don't. Mm. Maybe because she suddenly went and grabbed him during lunch. She wants to stop it, but scared to. Call me, may maybe come for the save. 
Oh, Tanner with the save. Tanner is a freaky angel. And Kata is a sweetie patootie. I love him. He's kind of like Kami. Well, he is. I love how we're still holding on to each other. Don't worry, they're already master and Where did Najmi come from? I never, I can still, I can't, I still can't tell if Najmi is on our side or not. Oh, but they all ate together. So that's all that matters, right? Baked sweet potatoes. What a swag way to just answer that. <gasps> but sir... Oh, fuck! Not a ghost. Yes, we are not a ghost. Yes! Sir, could we? No, could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? Oh, red light, great light situation. They understood each other. Thank you, my good sir. <gasps> nice and toasty. I'm bothering you. Oh, yeah, good point. And you were a beautiful girl. <laughs> Embarrassing feelings just never go away, which sucks. What was I supposed to be trying to tell her at that time? <laughs> Imagination going wild. What do you mean there's no way? You're adorable and you're sweet yourself. 
And mainly, you, you get Kami. The sis. That would be so messed up. <gasps> Anime collision? Yeah. Buying a sweet potato. What a coincidence indeed. Oh, come on, let's nice stroll together. <gasps> Should I ask her out? We have nothing to do. Yes. Wait, sweetie, you haven't said anything yet and your bike's fallen over. Like a day. Here is a potato. Well done. That took a lot of courage. From the both of you. The winter holidays have begun. Oh, this is so the beginning of the spiciness, the heat of spiciness that will be winter break. I will definitely say season two is definitely feeling a lot more like romantically spicy with both our characters. I feel like exploring a lot of what they're like actually feeling um, kind of out, out loud. Like, you know, the fact that episode two nearly gave us a love confession, I thought was super major. And you know, the fact that Tano is also coming to a realization himself. Like, what are these emotions that I am indeed feeling? for Kami it's like you know it's definitely a little bit more than friendship that is going on and I love how they subtly also show just like how close they truly are through the little kind of what is Kami thinking session <gasps> oh my god and I think the ending oh my god the ending changed yeah no no the ending totally changed with Akuto actually saying goodbye to Tano at the ending which yeah we didn't have that before I'm pretty sure yeah no do we? I don't know. I feel like that scene specifically stood out. I don't feel like we had that scene before. Well, anyways. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah, the friendship book. Master's disciples must write their name there. Many disciples. <laughs> Welcome, Katai. Welcome. I absolutely love Katai's character as well. I think I probably said that a lot when we first met him in episode one. Oh, he's such a big puffball of sweetness. Like, derpiness. I also love this ironic situation, you know, they've set up between, like, you know, master of communication, Komi, and apprentice, Katai. But yeah, with that, I'm so looking forward to next week's episode, considering that, you know, it is the beginning of all the funness, because we are on break now, and I feel like they have some great stuff set up for us. So I guess until then, make sure you guys say awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next time.